All right. So hopefully Debbie will find her way here. Oh, Rochelle's here. Um, that's great. We officially have a quorum. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and get us rolling. And if you um, fall behind, just in the comments, just say, wait, I'm not done. Before I move on to a card, I'm going to check with you all and say, hey, can I get some thumbs up if you guys are ready to to go. So let me see some thumbs up if you guys are ready to roll. And we will get started with the first card. And if you're coming in late, uh, we haven't started anything yet, no worries. But if you, if you come in late, then you can just start with um, the next card and then you can go back and watch the recording for any of the cards you missed. All right. All right, we, I'm seeing, oh, now you're off. You're to, froze, froze on Rosie. Hopefully she can get back on. Um, and like I said, I will put, the video will post immediately after. And so thanks, Gina. And then um, you can, you can catch up on anything you missed. Okay, so this is the first card we're gonna do. Hope anchors the soul. None of these cards have anything on the inside. Um, the last last month we had some some things on the inside, so you kind of had to pay attention what's up and what's what's down, um, upside down and whatnot. But you don't need to worry about that for the cards tonight. Okay, so what we need. Okay, yes, Sue. Oh, so sorry. I sent them to the address on PayPal, but um if there's if you can't get them, Sue, then um I will just mail you another package. I have three extras, so I will mail you another one if if you know, if if you can't get them from your old address. Okay, so there's just five um plain white bases. So go ahead and grab one of your plain white bases and fold that if you're fancy and you have a bone folder and you want to fold it with a bone folder, you can do that. Otherwise, you can just fold it in half. Okay. And these are all the pieces. We've got a navy blue. I'm going to set this over to the side since we're not using that. I've got a navy blue piece. We've got this wave embossed piece. You should have a little blue anchor. You should have a little piece of string. You should have a little piece like this that looks like stitched. You should have another piece with anchors. You should have another piece um, that's light blue. You should have a little navy square plus two other or three other navy rectangles. You should have a stamped piece and then you should have um, this little uh, piece, this die cut, and you might need to poke out some of your little, the little holes there. Okay. Now, you've got this little package here with, um, these are all like your little special embellishments. Now be careful when you're opening this. Um, there are three little gold pieces that go in another card. They look like scraps, they look like garbage, but they're not, There's, they're metallic gold pieces. So be careful when you open it up. Also be careful with this sticky that you don't lose any of your, um, zots or snot dots or boogers whatever whatever you want to call them whatever you call them at your house so there's no dimensionals in this one but you will need um this little strip of pearls for this card now what i've done for you here is i've i've used adhesive to adhe adhere three little zots squares on here and the pearl is sitting on the zot so when you peel off the pearl make sure you grab the zot too 
And if you don't, then you can use some liquid adhesive to put it down. But the that you're gonna wanna make sure you get that um, the zot off with your pearl. Okay, so now that we've got all the pieces for that, we don't need our little pen, we can go ahead and start assembling these. So these are all matted. So you can start by, um, by putting, layering these. So you're just gonna use your tape runner to attach um, all these smaller rectangles to your navy, to your navy pieces. Everyone okay? Everyone's hands are busy with tape runner. That's fine, you don't need to answer. These are pretty, they have a pretty slim mat going on around them. And if you want more and you wanna trim off some more with your scissors to make a wider mat, you're welcome to do that. All right, and then on this last one, you're gonna you're gonna mount the white rectangle onto the navy. And I can't seems like I can't center it the first try on any of these. All right, and then for the anchor, what we're gonna do is. I just kind of folded it in half and stuck it up through the middle. You have to be really gentle because of course your anchor is paper and you don't want to tear it, but it does go through. And then you can put the ends through and pull it tight ever so gently. Doke. Oops, looks like I lost a strand. And then you can trim off any excess that's too long for your paste. Okay, so now that everything's matted, you can go ahead and start assembling on your card base. If you were on my Facebook Live last week, I noticed after I posted the video, Brendan, my husband, thought he could jump in the shower real quick before the Facebook Live started. But of course I started five minutes early to get people a chance to find the live video. And so when I played it back after, you can totally hear the shower going and the curtain. And then last night I was filming a tutorial on on a um, on one of the tools and um, my son decides to come in and use the bathroom that's off my workshop. And so of course, that whole scenario was in, as it was in the video. So I had to stop and start over. Okay, so when I told you before that we didn't use dimensionals in this, I was just kidding. I do that. Um, you do have dimensionals for this. And I used the small ones. And the dimensionals are gonna go on this piece. So you can go ahead and assemble the stamped piece to it. Get that in there. And you can do this one and I overlapped it, but you know, I like to say you're the boss of your art. So, you know, if you wanna assemble things a little different, then that is totally fine. Oops. 
and you can use your adhesive um, if you don't have the a pen, a, a precision point adhesive pen or some other liquid pen. But if you do have um, the a liquid adhesive, you can use you can use that. But out of solidarity for people that um, might not, I'm just gonna use my tape runner because it does make it easier, but is not, not totally essential. And somebody did a sad face. Was that on accident or somebody lost? Okay. So once you've got those pieces connected, you can kind of mess with these pieces and figure out where you want them placed. And then you can go ahead and stick those down. Kind of just off center, left of center on that one is where I did it. And then for these, Just put on our dimensionals. Have that on there. And then you can add your preloaded zotty, snotty, um, pearls and like I said when you pull them off just it should come off mine are coming off fairly easy and like I told you last week I I use the same setup that you guys I make a packet for me so that <laughs> I'm going through the same pain that you are yes I used the small dimensionals on this one All right. And when you're done, if you just wanna say done, or not say done, but type done, or just give me a thumbs up, or um, a heart, something like that, then I'll know um, when Everyone is done. Hopefully everyone's doing okay. You've got all your pieces. Honestly, that's my biggest fear, that somebody has a piece missing. It keeps me up at night. All right. Great. Some of you are texting me that you're done and that's fine too. You can text me, text me a picture um, or just give me a thumbs up. Okay, Rosie's done. Oh yay. Thanks, Michelle. Okay, good. Everyone looks like they're finishing up. 
Perfect. Oh, Stacy's not done. <laughs> okay, it's not a race. I just, I since I have to, rec uh, you know, I have to wait for you to let me know. No worries. I'll leave those out there. And the next one we're gonna be doing, next up is this one, the sympathy card. <clears throat> so if you're done and you wanna grab the next um, stack of things out, you can. Oh, thank you. So make sure you get your little, your little shell for this next card. And you're gonna need the large dimensionals out of your little, out of your little pack. Okay, be careful with these little metallic guys in there. Cause they're gonna, especially if you've got a fan going or something, they're gonna wanna get away from you. I'm slightly panicked cause I only see two in mine and there should be three. But um, I'm, I'm just, it's, I know it's sandwiched in between those little stars. I just know it. Okay, so we should, we need our little, we need our shell. We need um, dimensionals. Looks like I used um, five of the large dimensionals on that. You like the way I figured that out? Yeah. <laughs> and okay, great. Then you're gonna need this gray piece. This is this is gonna be easy to get together. So you're gonna use the gray piece. You should have a white piece. Your gray, you want the chalked edge up. If you like it, if you don't, you can always use the other side if you don't like that dark chalked edge. So you're gonna need your dark chalk, your gray sheet of paper, cardstock, your white, your shell paper, the with sympathies and then two two things of string this is going to be the trickiest part we're going to we're going to save that and then you're going to need five dimensionals and your tape and that's it so you can grab a base i'm going to walk you through the tying the tying on of the shell So we'll fold that base. I'm gonna leave this over here just in case there's someone that's still working. Um, let me move this over here so you can see it better. All right, we can go ahead and attach the gray. So you're gonna attach the gray to your card base. And then don't attach anything else to this gray piece yet. Next, you're gonna attach this blue to the white cardstock. So attach your blue shell to the white cardstock. And at this point, we are going to, um, to deal with the string. So what we're gonna do is in your little in your little baggie, we're gonna get out um, two of the small, do you hear my fan? Maybe you do, good hearing. <laughs> I have a ceiling fan on. Okay, so what you're gonna do with these dimension or with these zots is you're gonna use them to stick on the the ends of the string because as you probably know right string is you, it's it doesn't really stick nice to um doesn't really stick nice to paper so what you want to do is take the end just slightly north of center did i say pen take your string you're going to put on one of your zots, one of your snot dots, one of your boogers, and just stick the stick the end of the yarn right in there. 
and then you're gonna wrap it around. Now I kind of went like crisscross, if you notice in my design, and then you're, oh, you'll pinch it together. But you should have enough to go, you know, three, four times around, right? Make it kind of tight, because you don't want it to slip down on the page. And then wherever this, this last piece ends, you might be able to stick it to your original thought, but if not, that's why you have another one. So I don't want that string to come off, so I'm gonna stick another one on there, just so that I can make sure that that string stays put. Okay. So now, hopefully, you've got a little crisscross going on. And what we're gonna do is kind of cheat with this one. So we're gonna feed, feed this string through the middle here, and then we're just gonna do a simple knot to tie on your shell. And that'll probably be the hardest thing I have to do all night. But you can also trim a fresh piece off the string um, to get that through. All right. Once you've got that threaded through, then you can just tie it. And I tied it tight. I didn't have it like hanging down. I tied it tight where those strings kind of crisscrossed. And then you can trim off excess string. Okay. And then, now that you've got that on there, you can add your dimensionals and then you're going to add your With Sympathies sentiment. And you kind of want to just hang, um, I, I like it where the shell kind of hang hung into the words. So you can position that on there and then you can just pop them up, pop it up. And that middle one, or you can you can put them right on top of the string, and that will hold you know hold the string even more. Oh, I got them all. Okay. Okay, how's everyone doing on that one? Okay, it did just say low internet connection, but I, I don't, and I just stepped out to make sure Brendan wasn't doing anything crazy on the internet. Okay, and it, it came back. Just let me know when you all 
get finished. Thanks, Susan. I think the hardest part is threading that string through the through the shell. Okie doke. Great. I'm so glad that you guys like it. All right. Well, it looks like maybe I'm safe to start pulling out the pieces for the next one. Oh, that's a good, good, good pro tip there from, from Jennifer. Yep. Cut that string on an angle. Yeah. A new cut really does help. Alrighty, so our next card is You Light Up My Life um, Lighthouse card, and this is the one that you're going to need those three teeny tiny little gold pieces, or if all else fails, maybe a gold jelly roll pen. But hopefully, um, none of those got lost in travel so you're gonna need your which you can't see on my gray map so let me we're gonna need our a card base of course we need that then I'll pull out the pieces so that you can see them since the there we go so we need our our lighthouse die cut and we need our pretty brick and our navy paper to go behind and then our lighthouse big lighthouse piece and the you light up my life stamp and then out of our other little pack you are going to need um you won't need any dimensionals you will need the little um teal gemstone which has adhesive on it I'm sorry Tracy I just learned Tracy doesn't like jewels with adhesive on them now I seem to be missing a piece of of my lighthouse bling but I'm sure it is here somewhere and hopefully oh here it is if I can get it out of this bag. Okay. All right, so everyone hopefully has all of their pieces and has found all of their, um, all of their little lighthouse lights. So I hear, puzzle, you know, people are doing puzzles like crazy right now. So they're like a little bit of a puzzle. Um, the middle piece, you know, you should be able to find and then the other pieces will fit right in. So you should be able to fit those in nicely. I'm gonna slide these off so I don't lose them. So we're gonna start by sticking down this lighthouse paper. These little starfish are trying to jump onto the wrong card. Okay, good, thank you. And then we're gonna stick the brick on top of the navy. And then you're gonna position Sorry, it helps if I'm in the middle of the screen. You're gonna position this piece so that it's equidistant from the side and the top and bottom. So that's gonna go on like that. And then your lighthouse, um, you're gonna center it top to bottom and then you can decide how much of it you wanna hang over. Um, you don't need to worry about where this um, hole is in the lighthouse for the brick. Um, 
I positioned the Utilite Up My Light right over that. And um, so you can do that too, or you can put it wherever you want because you're the boss of your own art, right? Okay, so we could stick this down. And then you can stick down your sentiment. I thought this would make a nice thank you card that you light up my life for somebody. And then your little gemstone goes on there. And now we have to add the little pieces. Be like one strip if you're using a tape runner. One little segment. I'm going to start with the middle piece. And they do angle so that you can tell which piece is which. I just dropped one on the floor. Rosie's cat probably ran off with one of them. These little ones are, if they all make it in, it's gonna be a miracle. I did find it. I know you were all worried. Okie doke. I was thinking maybe one of your cats. Check their paws, Rosie. <laughs> for your for the next card class, I'll I'll send you I'll send you some more. If anyone lost any gold tops, I should have just made two sets for everyone, just in case. I don't know how one escaped from my little bag, but I found it in the big bag. Or you might find them in between some some sea stars. Oh, no helper. Oh, I can't even blame it on the cat. <laughs> Great, Marshall. Hopefully everyone else is doing okay as well. Ah, well, the next class, um, I'm going to be doing in conjunction with National Scrapbook Day. So I just announced, I just emailed the church where I normally have um, my National Scrapbook Day and decided that even if we are, you know, able to not be staying at home on April 30th, I'm thinking that people were probably not going to be um, able, check the sides of your foam squares and in between your sea stars, Stacy or Debbie. Um, so back to Jennifer's question. The next class will be in conjunction of National Scrapbook Day. So National Scrapbook Day is May 2nd. And what I'm going to do is everyone that signs up for National Scrapbook Day, I'm going to do a video like this. It won't be live. 
and I'll post it on a password protected uh, page of my website so that people can do it anytime on May 2nd um, or um, whenever it's convenient for you. And there'll be four different Zoom crops that day. And it is a fundraiser for the Cannonballs for Cane Foundation, which is a local foundation um, that our local ladies are very familiar with because I do two fundraisers a year for Cannonballs for Cane. So it's Go Gray in May for National Scrapbook Day. The foundation um, donates money for research for brain cancer. So, um, so the next card class, I did post the pictures for the next one. It's on my website under the National Scrapbook Day page, and you can see them, and I'll show you tonight at the end what those look like. Um, they're kind of strawberry garden theme, because that's the theme from Creative Memories this year um, for National Scrapbook Day. So there's some options for scrapbookers, or you, you can pick the scrapbook option or the card option or a digital option. So totally up to you. And oh yay, Debbie. And it'll be 35 instead of 25. That includes the shipping, but that also includes a donation to Cannonballs for Cane. And you get 12 raffle tickets. So I'll be giving stuff um, away through the event. So that was a very long answer to your question, um, Jennifer. But um, I'm gonna end up doing I didn't pop up the saying, I did not. Nothing has popped up on this card. Um, but you probably will have extra dimensionals or you probably have a million laying around at your house if you wanted to pop it up. Um, I am gonna have a second card class at the end of May um, because cards are how I'm keeping my sanity during this event, making them and um, assembling kits and cutting all the pieces it's very therapeutic for me so moving on to our next our next card okay <laughs> yeah well you hopefully you can interact on the zoom so then um people if you're working on the card kit on the zoom then um i'll have written directions too so that you don't have to watch the video you can be on the zoom and be making the cards like with the group. So there'll be four different Zoom car, uh, class, like Zoom calls throughout the day, um, two and three hour long, so people can come and go as they, as they, as their schedule allows. But as part of your kit for National Scrapbook Day, you're also gonna get a sign that you can post on a door or by your computer that says like, I know it looks like I'm here, but I'm not really here. I'm at National Scrapbook Day you know, something like that. So your family um, won't, you know, bug you to do stuff for them while you're at National Scrapbook Day. Because if you were at National Scrapbook Day, you wouldn't be able to make them a sandwich and whatnot. All right. Although Tracy, you probably still have to run your, your snack stand. All right, Carol, hurry up. <laughs> All right. Um, the next card is happy birthday, wishing you oceans of joy. Um, and this one we're going to paint. <laughs> Will that work at the office too? Yeah. Um, this one you're gonna be using your little brush. So let's pull out the pieces for this one. Of course, you're gonna need your card base and then you are going to need your gold, your gold sheet, your water sheet, um, your white piece of cardstock, your stitched teal piece of cardstock, your sentiment with the gold edges, your white octopus, and then two pieces of ribbon. And you're gonna need um, dimensionals to, to stick down this ribbon the same way we did our, um, aw, thanks, Sarah, yeah, he's so cute. The same way that we stuck down our yarn on the other one. But we're gonna start with painting our octopus. And since this did work out last month, we're doing it again. Now, I feel like I gave everyone a little bit more um, watercolor pencil to work with. 
So what you're gonna do is dip, if you're if you didn't weren't on the call or weren't didn't do the card class last month, you're gonna dip your little paint, your little brush that I mailed you in your kit, and you're gonna dip it into this is watercolor paint. You just need a little bit, and then you're gonna transfer the ink over to um, to your little octopus. So I kind of was just darker on the top and the edges, but you know what I say. You are the boss of your own art. So you can do whatever you want with this little guy. And hopefully I gave everyone enough So this is on watercolor paper, so it shouldn't like pill up, pill up on you um, where the where the pencil is. But you don't want to scrub too hard on where the octopus is, because that is not watercolor paper. The water is okay; you just don't want to bear down. And so you're just gonna kind of painty paint. Everybody's, I'm, I know I'm being quiet because I'm concentrating, so I'm sure you are too. So one of the um, card kits that I just designed last week has several different colors of this. But I really like the way it. I wasn't sure when I did it last month how this would how this would work, but I am pleased with you know how it works and how I'm able to ship it these little brushes to you, and um, and to just you know send you the watercolor pencil the way I have, um, because I I you know. I think it I think it comes out pretty cute. And then once you, you know, kind of do it if you still have some pencil some extra if you will and you want to go back and darken some areas up you can do that oops So I'm happy with the way he turned out. Hopefully you're having success with yours too. Aw, thanks Debbie. I just ordered a hundred more. Because I had just enough for all the kits this time. So this is pretty straightforward as far as assembly goes when you get to that point. Of course we need our base.
and for those of you that were on last month, I did find um, little pill, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like little pillows, like where you put, where you push pills out of. Um, I'm sure I'm probably, you know, being investigated by somebody because I purchased them on Amazon. But, um, so that I can send everyone little, um, little jewels that don't have adhesive. And also I can send, um, stickles, the little glitter glue, because last month in the, uh, press and seal was not ideal. All right. So we're, you're going to put your gold paper and your wave paper first, then you're going to attach these two together and don't attach them down to the card yet. Hopefully it's okay that I am moving forward here. And then, um, go ahead and attach the sentiment and we're just going to do that equally distant from the top and the sides and the octopus is going to overlap on this side that's why it's kind of stamped off to the right so once you do that then you have a good um idea of where to put this string now this string i think is beautiful it is a little wonky because it's got this little piece in the middle that kind of wants to go its own way and not be part of your card um you might have a piece that's longer than the other and so i would use that um for to wrap around the bottom so you're going to do that the same way we did with the yarn so you're going to put your um your little zots you should have a couple left over and I'm just going to put them I'm going to put them on the ribbon so that I can position the ribbon where I want it to be so I put one on the end of the ribbon so I could center it and then I can just fold this piece around okay and then I can just make this one even. If you can tuck that little center piece of this ribbon that just wants to, you know, go its own way, that might be good. So I'm gonna kind of do a little twist on the end so that I can catch, cause I didn't put it down. That's why this piece is kind of flying away on me. So I'm gonna try to stick it under. Ooh. Sometimes you just don't know what ribbon's gonna do until you cut it. It looks so pretty on the spool. And it does look gorgeous on the card. It has kind of those teal under undertones. I'm gonna get this when I put the dimensional on it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh my goodness, that looks terrible. What happened here? Well, this side looks good. Was that little twist I did. Let's move this up. Okay, I'm gonna twist this side. Okay, Whew. I feel like that was way harder than it should have been. Hopefully you are not having that trouble. And then this piece, this is kind of, I, I love this little trick because tying ribbons to me is like, oh, it's a nightmare. So with this, we're gonna do just like we did with the shell card. We're gonna slide this piece under and just knot it. Make sure you get that little center piece of the ribbon. And go ahead and pull that. And then once you get that tied on there, you can trim, you can trim off the excess 
to whatever you like. Alrighty. And then you're going to add, you should have five more of these guys left. And you can load that up. Position this on. Now I did kind of cross the white over into the overlapped the wave paper into the gold um, if that makes sense but you can position it however you want and then the last thing is the little octopus he goes on there and so you just kind of look at where he's going to overlap and you can just add some add some adhesive to him I need to move them up too high just right and there he is he could be a she But it seems like he's flying away. Cute. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and fold the next card base. So if you're done, <laughs> cute. Thanks, Cindy. I saw your octopus. Just give me a shout when you're when you're done. You won't need your little brush anymore, and you won't need um, the watercolor or the water. So if that's in a dangerous place on your work area, you can move it. Mine's kind of dangerous because I'm watching comments, and I almost just knocked it over. Aw, thanks, Stacy. All right. Um, for your next card, that'll be everything else that's left in your bag. Should be. And if those of you are, if, you, if we still got people missing, parts of their lighthouse then hopefully they will find it now y'all are gonna you know you might have some choice words for me but um on this next card we have some fussy cutting to do so the sea stars um they've already been wink for you so there's a little bit of a shimmer to them um, and 
what we're gonna do is stick them down to the white cardstock squares that you have in your pack, and then we're gonna fussy cut around them. So that's probably gonna take the longest. Um, so we can start by doing that. So we're gonna take your take your C stars and stick them stick them on, and then if. By fussy cut, I mean just kind of, you're gonna leave a little hint of white around them. Oh, good. Good, we love a, Marshall loves fussy cutting. So what you're gonna do is just take your scissors and just kind of eyeball, and you're gonna just leave a little bit of white a little bit of white around. There is something calming to fussy cutting. So just like that. And so I just left a little bit around. Doesn't have to be perfect. Goodness, this square is not very square. Or I can't put things on in the center. That has been a theme for me tonight. These are handmade cards, so. Oh, I, yay, I thought it might have been hiding in the sea stars. Those little, little guys. Sorry, I get closer and closer to my phone. Cutting these out. You guys are getting extreme close up of my fussy cutting. This is where I need, you know, some elevator music to play. So that the sound of my fan doesn't drive Debbie crazy. You don't have the, um, <laughs> right, really good. You don't have the little white squares, Marshall? But you have an extra card base? What do you have an extra of? Because you, you can just, if you have an extra card base, you can just, you can use that. You should have three little, three, three white squares. All right, once you're done with that, then it's, it's a pretty straightforward assembly. We're just gonna use our Sea Star paper on the bottom, followed by the frame. Oh, just kidding. Followed by this paper, and then the frame over it. 
and then we're going to add the congratulations and the swimming by to say and then the only thing you're going to you're going to pop up both of the sentiment strips and so you're going to use um yes yes you have to cut around them you stick them you stick them on the white squares and then and then fussy cut around them So you might have a couple dimensionals left over too in your kit. But I don't know, I, a pet peeve of mine is saggy sentiments. You know, I, I just, I don't love a saggy sentiment, so. And um, I feel like some dimensionals are higher than others. These ones are a little on the high side. Like they kind of sit up high, which I, I kind of like the little, the low, the low rider ones, but desperate times. I was getting these card kits together when Creative Memories was not shipping, so I could not use Creative Memories, and I find them to be just a little shorter, which I do enjoy. No worries, Marcel. I'm glad you have everything. I had a little bit of a panic moment. So true, Stacy. I just need to not go overboard on the sentiments for fear of sagging and then not have enough for my my sea stars. I think I'm good. I think I can even be excessive on my sea stars. You know what they say, use them if you got them. The dimensionals. Can't take them with you. Now I don't. The sea stars uh, do have little smiles on, so I mean you can put them on upside down if you want. You are the boss of your art, so feel free to put a upside down. But I thought you might not have noticed, so I just wanted to draw your attention to the fact that they there is a little smiley face. Oh good, then I'm glad I said something. Although an upside down sea star is just as cute. Now we all have a congratulations card for all of the, the graduates that we know that their senior year is a little bit funky. We can still send them our well wishes. All right. Well, believe it or not, that will do it. I 
I don't want to move that one too far down yet. Probably everyone's still fussy cutting. Oh, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> we can send it. We can send it to anyone who is healthy. Yeah, congratulations, you still fit in your pants. That would be fun. <laughs> or, the, or that, yeah. Thankfully, I don't know anyone who has, who has gotten sick, so I'm happy to say that. I will give you a little sneak peek. If you're still working on this, continue. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll add that to my, my materials list, Carol. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek at the National Scrapbook Day one. So this is the next card set. You could card kit. You can choose this. Um, if you register for National Scrapbook Day, again, that'll be 35 instead of 25 for those of you that are shipping. The 35 includes shipping um, and also includes a donation to Cannonballs for Kane Foundation. So this, this is one of them. Sending a basket of birthday wishes. So this is a little basket of hearts. That's one of them. Aw, thanks Shelby, thanks for being being here. Here's another one, a happy birthday with a little strawberry. This got some stickle action going on, so I'll be mailing stickles again. This one's You Grow Girl. Another um, strawberry one. Here's a thinking of you. The one you get might have a slightly toned down version of this yellow. This yellow is a little, little bright, little, little Lego yellow for me. So that your kit actually might be toned down just a tad. And then this one, thanks for helping me grow. And a little watering can. So we got a thank, thank, uh, thank you, a thinking of you, congratulations, a couple birthdays. So that is the May kit, and that's the National Scrapbook Day. But you also, at checkout, if you prefer the paper scrapbooking kit, you can also choose that instead. And then, like I said, I'll have another May class. It'd be towards the end of May. Uh, since National Scrapbook Day is May 2nd, or maybe toward, not the end end, because hopefully, hopefully, I'm having my retreat in Lakeland. The first weekend in June so I'm so glad that you all enjoyed this and I'm so glad that you all joined thank you for supporting my business during this time and my sanity because like I said preparing these kits really does keep me sane and obviously you guys are supporting my business so I'm so glad that you were all on tonight and um, hopefully you'll join us for National Scrapbook Day and we'll get to mix in a little bit of Zoom calls. On that note, there is a Zoom crop this Friday night. Oh, wow. Thank you, Gina. Really, I appreciate that. Aw, oh, thank you, Jennifer. Um, we have a Zoom crop this Friday night from 7 to 9. So if you guys want to see each other's smiling faces, 
Um, I would love to have you join us on the Zoom crop, and then I'm also going to do one Sunday afternoon. So if you are sadly one of those people working from home who's on the computer all day, understand that Friday night you may not want to be on the computer Friday night. So I am totally, I, you know, totally understand that. So if you want to hop on on Sunday afternoon instead, love to have you for one or both. But that is all for tonight. Thank you, ladies. I really appreciate your encouragement and your support. And I look forward to talking to you all soon. Be safe and be well and stay scrappy.